are struggling indeed. Well, let's find out how Umkhla Tuze Mayor Olani Nguezi is going to handle this as he now also reflects on his uh, nine months in office today. Reporter Latiwe Mluli joining us as well. The mayor going to be with you in just a moment. And uh, all being fair, it hasn't been smooth for the mayor so far. His own residents uh, is saying that uh, they don't have water, a basic human right. Latiwe, good evening. Well, good evening, um, Gareth. Of course, speaking to those residents, they were very frustrated over the lack of service delivery, especially with the lack of water provision in their area. The most affected area having been Iskaleni, which is better known as Iskawini. We spoke to those residents, and as you heard from Zanedem Shlongo, she is saying that the situation has gotten worse over the last two months. Of course, we just concluded a briefing with the new leadership of the municipality of Mklatuze, and right now I'm joined by the mayor, Olani Ngwezi. I just want to bring him in and ask him about these very concerning issues. Uh, mayor, thank you so much for joining us at ENCA. Take us through why the residents of Eskaleni are still dealing with these issues. Um, they are saying that it's been years, but over the last two months, it has been a, a crisis for them. Well, thank you very much, uh, uh, Letiwe, for the question which you are asking me. In fact, <clears throat> What has happened uh, over the last two months is that council took a decision to change the 400 meters of the 600 millimeter diameter pipe uh, at Tupu in an area which is more of a wetland park. That uh, distance or rather length, length of the pipe used to burst. Uh, each time you fix it, it uh, after two days, three days, it will have burst in another place because the pipe was made up of steel. And we took a decision to change that pipe, and uh, we did that successfully. We then uh, started pumping water for a week or so. And uh, after a week, we then stabilized water to the level where, on a particular Friday, for instance, uh, on a, towards a Saturday, we had uh, actually uplifted water restrictions. And after having done that, uh, there was then a problem of a, a, a transformer, electrical transformer, which provides electricity to the electric pumps, which are at Lake Tupu plant. And that ele electrical transformer caught fire, and uh, everything burned. Then we were back at, to square one, because any, everything which was a wire, from wire to pumps, gaskets, everything just got burned. And fortunately, the generators did not uh, catch fire. So we had to refurbish uh, the, the whole plant, if I may say so. And uh, we then did that successfully over a period of seven days. I still can't explain uh, how we managed to actually refurbish that plant back to its normal and operation. Uh, 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 but for now, as of now, as we speak, because this process took almost, you know, last week, we are pumping water uh, using uh, two generators and three pumps. And unfortunately, the pumps, or rather the generators, do not provide uh, pressure, enough pressure, which can allow all our people to actually have water and also uplift the restrictions. And, uh, yeah. In speaking to the residents, they were saying that um, over the past nine months, they haven't seen much change, especially with the water issue and also the electricity issues. Um, I know that a lot of residents have been complaining about the ongoing crisis as well when it comes to the electricity issue. Yeah, well, uh, I, I don't think, uh, uh, you know, our residents in this current can complain about electricity. It might be people who are supplied by ESCOM especially in the areas of Inkosutube and the areas of Inkosumkwanas. But, you know, we have no control over, you know, fixing of the infrastructure of ESCOM. It's ESCOM who must fix its infrastructure because our infrastructure in the Cygnus substation, it's a substation that belongs to the municipality. It is in Eskaleni next to a restaurant called Nembola. We have got uh, 40 MVA uh, 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 transformers. They are able to provide electricity uh, to its maximum. Even ESCOM gets power from that substation. And then the rest of the residents in the Escalin Township, they get electricity from us. So we have never had issues uh, of late uh, from uh, January, because we fixed this transformer in January, 
it, it, it got, uh, it, it employed it on the 26th or 7th of December, and by January, somewhere around January 15, we had fixed it. Mm -hmm. Therefore, uh, clients which get it is directly from us don't have issues, but it is clients that get it is from ESCOM. Mm -hmm. And the question is, what is it that we are doing? Of course, through what is called uh, intergovernmental relations, we engage ESCOM to say, ESCOM, these are your clients. It's you who provides electricity to them. They buy electricity to you. You must fix it. So it's unfortunate that we, ESCOM does not report to us as the municipality. It reports to the Ministry of uh, State-Owned Enterprises, Minister Pravin Kotan. So if it is Minister Pravin Kotan, who doesn't actually deal with the fixing of the infrastructure in the areas of former course, then it's a problem. But we do report, and ESCOM has these details, and they will give you excuses, for instance, that people are robbing electricity and so on and so forth. So it's, it's unfortunate that, uh, you know, ESCOM really is letting our, our voters, our people here in the city, uh, uh, down in the areas of Enzelin, for instance, I myself personally reported, I think about six months ago, that there are issues also in an area. They will tell you the same thing. These people have robbed electricity, and you know we, we can't, where we are, actually go and resolve that issue except for ESCOM and clients to resolve it. Where they invite us, we avail ourselves and our councillors to discuss the matter and seek uh, the way forward. But, Mayor, um, in terms of having a plan for those residents who don't have water at the moment, and they were complaining also about the fact that they don't have water tankers provided in those areas. When we went to Escaleni, one water tank, where we saw one water tanker that was delivering water, but unfortunately that water was dirty. Um, residents were complaining about they can't even drink that water. What is the plan, and what is the time frame for that um, community to have water? Well, like I was saying, that during the day, because maybe people will, must differentiate between having no water and having water, but also in the process of what is called water restrictions. We restrict water at 8 o'clock in the morning until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And then water comes back at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and around 10 at night, water is off. Why are we doing that? We are building reservoir levels so that when we release water, at least... Uh, about 90, 95% of the people or other community have got water. Just now, if you can go to the same community, they will tell you they have water now. But during the day, as I say, in the times I've given you, there are water restrictions. The question is, how long are water restrictions going to, to last? Water restrictions will last up until December. Remember, in the report I was giving to the media now, I said there is a 15 megalitre package plant which is aimed at abstracting water from Lake, uh, from Inseiz River, be treated at uh, the package plant next to Tronox in Ward 12. That water is going to add capacity to the reservoirs. There's also a plan to build a fourth reservoir so that we separate the supply of water to the three big reservoirs to Escalene areas and the surrounding areas, and then the other reservoir to supply Felixstein, Iniwe, University of Zuland, Vulindlela, and other parts of the northern parts of Inkosum Kwanazi, and up to Umlalazi in Manzamnyama area, because they also get water from Lake Tsopo. Why are residents never informed of these plans? Because they were also saying that they haven't seen you uh, visiting these areas. <laughs> well, I don't know. Uh, if they say they have not seen me, uh, you know, to the area, even yesterday I was uh, in Ward 12 under Inkosi uh, Dube on Monday. Also, I will be there. I've, uh, you know, tried my best. I think I've uh, since been in the office uh, from the 10th of December. I've traveled in all communities. In Escalin, for instance, for public meetings, I've gone there more than three times. It's unfortunate that the times which sometimes we use may not accommodate everybody. But through media, we engage. They can go to the Facebook page of the municipality, for instance, those who have access to Facebook, they will get this information I'm talking about, to the extent that we even travel to Johannesburg, where the package plant is being constructed. And we actually had a, a kind of an interview with work constructors who are actually doing this and committed. They committed themselves, and we posted that through the media and so on and so forth to say that we will have finished the project by December this year. So the same residents, I'm saying to them, they must be patient with us. 
we can't fix a damage of 14 years, over 14 years. Infrastructure has been rejected. I mean, uh, we, we have been neglected. But, you know, we are trying by all means. Like I'm saying, we are in, busy installing a transformer now. That transformer, once installed, after a week, would have stabilized water supply uh, in the whole of this area. Like I said, when we had no issue with the pipe, the, with, with the piping, or rather the pipes which we fixed, we had started, you know, uplifting uh, uh, water restrictions uh, so that our people have got water for at least the longest time. But unfortunately, it's a, it's a problem we're trying to resolve, and it can be resolved now. It's also a lesson we are learning uh, as leaders that we must plan ahead, uh, we must be proactive uh, in, in actually dealing with the issues of service delivered for our people. Thank you so much, Councillor. Towers uh, uh, so, Gareth, that is the mayor of Mklatsuze, Olani Ngwezi, just basically taking us through some of their plans that they have for some of those residents who were complaining about service delivery issues, especially residents of Eskawini, who did say that they haven't had water for the past two months, saying that the situation has worsened over the last two months. But, of course, they have been dealing with this issue for numerous years. The mayor is saying that they inherited um, a dysfunctional um, municipality and they are trying to work um, towards planning and also fixing some of the problems that they found during this time. Yeah, and water restrictions in place till December, can you believe it? Uh, Latuwe, thank you very much indeed. Latuwe, including for us, Ian Sierra reporter, trying to find out what is happening with the water situation down in Umkhlatuze.